Hello beautiful people of the internet. So I guess today you sat to live fashionably with me, Liv. So yeah, yeah my name's Liv. So right. Today's video is going to be me testing out some older products that I got um, just a couple of days ago. And yeah, there's not that many but you know, I thought it'd just be fun to show you how it all turns out. So yeah, let's go see what my face is going to look like. Let's go. Okay, so the first product I got was this um, red NYX turn up lipstick. It's super cute. I love the color. It's in the shade TULS06. So yeah, in case y'all want to go to Ulta, that is it. So yeah, it's I, I like this color because I, I have more of like more tans and stuff. So I wanted to go for a more more like bolder style. I do like this color. I just you need to make sure you pair it with the out, right outfit because I really think the lipstick like, just depends on the outfit style choice. Um, if you're wearing like a color like this, I would, I would say go with more darker, like black, some white maybe, but like if you're wearing like tans and like pastel type colors, I would wear more of like subtle color, but I definitely do like this color and yes, I smudged it right here, I'm guessing it will come off, but you know, other than that, I think this color is great. Um, like I said, the skin tone for me, I don't know if I have the right skin tone to wear this color. I mean, I'm probably, I am gonna wear it, but you know, I would say this color is more for maybe a lighter type of skin color. But it really just depends on like, what's your style and how, um, what colors you wanna wear, you know? The next color is a more purplish red, I guess you would say. Not really burgundy, but it's more purple burgundy, like combined. I honestly don't know what color you would call it. This is NYX Turn Up um, lipstick, also. Um, it is in the shade TULS02. I feel like I feel like this is a fall color that you will wear during the fall. Um, but I feel like this will work with like browns and stuff while you wear the other red with like blacks and like whites and stuff. This one will go more with other colors like browns, tans, like those colors in that area. That's why I feel like this color is for. Um, maybe do like gold, eyesh, like tannish, lightish. I might even like barely even do eyeshadow, just like a really simple color. The next product is Ulta Mascara and it's called Twisted Volume. I didn't realize this before but this, um, the turning thing on the lid is how curly I guess you want the stick once like it gets curly like the more you turn it. So this is like, I don't know if you can tell, I don't think you can really tell, but it's like pretty twisted right here. Um, I guess that's what it's called, Twisted Volume. Um, anyways, this is how, like, this is the four, I think it's on four right now, yeah, it's on four, but So just from looking at this, I feel like the one worked better, or for me anyways, I'm not sure how you want yours, but I feel like the one just spaced it out better. The next product I got was this eyeliner. It said it's a purple eyeliner, cause from what my mom said, purple brings out green, so it's like a compliment um, for green eyes. 
So I just got this out to try it out. Um, it's an eye and eyebrow pencil. So you know, hey, if you want purple eyebrows one day and you just add, like, you just want to rock it, here you go. This is just a good um, NYX. The shade is SP, SPE917. And 17 um so yeah I thought this would just be a cool um, new thing to try out because you know me I have not tried this out yet so yeah I think this would be fun to work with and just you know, try it out so yeah let's open it up now, I, if you do get this, I'll be careful when you do open it. So I've opened it twice and messed it up and I had to sharpen it again because I was opening it up to get the wrappers off. And then I had to sharpen it and then I opened it again and it messed up. So, you know, this is not what it originally looked like when it came out of the box or came out of the wrapper. Um, I had to sharpen it. So, yeah, it's not as sharp, I guess, as it was. But you know, it's what I had to do, you know? So yeah. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna put on is this eyeliner, which I probably should have done before I put on my mascara. But you know, we're gonna see how this works out. The next product is like, a, it's called an ombre lip duo. It's by NYX2. And the shade or the cup, the one that I got was Old O2. So if you want to, so this is the Ombre Lip Duo, and it fades obviously from light pink to dark pink. And I think you just put like one color like on the outline of your lip, and then one color in the middle, and then it like just blends in and makes a cool ombre look. Um, so I thought I might just try this out too. I think this color is great too, but I feel like this one's more like a summery, springy type color just because it's so bubbly and just, I mean, you wear, like I said before, you wear whatever color you want to wear with your outfit whenever you want to wear it. Um, this though, I feel like since it's a bolder color that it would go with blacks and like whites and stuff. Just because I don't know what goes with like regular colors. Um, I haven't gotten that far in makeup. But anyways, I think this color is great. It kind of reminds me of like a Barbie lipstick color, um, which I got this color because like I said, the other two colors were like dark. So I thought why not get like a bright color. Um, so yeah, th this is, this is what it looks like. Okay, so the last thing I got, I'm not gonna try it out because I don't have any liquid, like I didn't get any liquid like foundation to try it on with. But is Real Techniques by Sam and Nick. But everybody else pretty much just calls them beauty blenders. That's really what they do. They're two miracle complexion sponges. That's what it says on the um thing. Can I read it? That's really all it is, just like sponges to mix in your foundation. And you can really use it, I think, with anything that you need to blend in so yeah i think that's just a cool idea a good thing to get okay so this is how i look at the moment um i do have the purple eyeliner and my skin is still on um i do feel like i will be needing to work both work on this before i go to school because you know i don't want to be looking like a clown 
why couldn't I be blessed with like makeup abilities? Well, you're just gonna have to watch me learn how to do makeup as the years, months, days go by, you know? So, as the weeks go by, we're gonna say it like that because hopefully I can get to post in weekly videos. So, yeah, this is what my face looks like. Um, the purple eyeliner, I didn't go under because I knew if I did go under, it would probably mess up with mascara. So that's why I didn't try to. So, yeah. I tried to make a little wing, but I don't think that worked out. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep working on the eyeliner. Probably keep working on lipstick, lipstick, lipstick. Probably more lipstick. Um, just because... You know, like, it smears so bad, and I don't understand. So, if you see, like, smear marks, that's what's wrong. Um, yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I really need to start, I'm gonna start working on my makeup more, hopefully, so I can just perfect it. Get these fall looks and summer looks, and maybe I'll have a summer look for next year. That would be great. Um, yeah, so I really hope y'all enjoyed that video. Please give this a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and comment where you like to get your makeup from or your favorite brand of makeup because, you know, I really need all the help I can get. So, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed that video, and I'll see y'all hopefully next week if I can get a video up. Okay, bye guys.